My name is Varun Swamy. I'm a tropical forest ecologist and I've been working here at Tambupata Research Center since 2008. My research at TRC focuses on tropical forest regeneration and the way I study it at TRC is I have a long-term forest dynamics plot and basically that's 200 by 200 meters of forest, four hectares, in which every stem that's uh, larger than 10 centimeters in diameter is mapped, tagged, measured and identified for long-term monitoring. So we are in the middle of one of those plots and uh, in the central hectare of these four hectare plots, so the central 100 by 100 meter area, we are intensively mapping regeneration. And so that's the saplings, the next generation, things like, like this, which represent the future generation of the forest uh, canopy. So every stem that's taller than a meter and that's woody is also given a tag and mapped and uh, measured and identified. And that's uh, about 9,500 stems in this plot. That's in addition to the 2,200 uh, stems that are above 10 centimeters in diameter. So those represent two distinct uh, generations. One is the adult tree generation. The next is the, the sapling generation, which represents um, the babies, or the ones that are eventually going to replace the canopy trees. And the other uh, monitoring that we're doing in that same central hectare is we are intensively mapping seed fall, both spatially and temporally. And uh, we do that by having a grid of 196 seed traps. And so every two weeks, either me or my assistants come to each of these plots and they examine the contents of the traps. And if there are any fruits and seeds in them, they collect them, put them in a bag and take them back to the field station to identify and to, to register. Clean. The focus of my research is trying to understand uh, the factors that maintain the composition and diversity of tropical forest tree communities. As is well known, the Amazon rainforest has amongst the highest uh, tree diversity of any forest in the world. It becomes very interesting to understand what factors maintain that, that diversity and that stability. So that's the focus of my research and more specifically I examine how interactions between plants and animals play a major role in shaping the forest community and in maintaining diversity. So my study is a comparative study. I collect the same kinds of data with the same study design in places like TRC. Manu National Park on the other end of the basin is one of my other control sites that has a fully intact forest uh, animal community. I compared those sites with the other sites in the same basin, so we're talking about the same tree species community, but sites that have not been protected, uh, that are lacking a full complement of their large vertebrates. Uh, essentially what we're calling empty forests or semi-empty forests. This is a long-term study. We are tracking these processes through time. Some of these results are going to take a long time to become obvious, but then with our, even with the data that we have right now, we're able to tell that some very uh, pronounced short-term impacts are already visible. The absence of seed-dispersing primates has very uh, strong impacts on the distribution of seed fall. Essentially, in the sites where uh, these primates are lacking, the seed distribution of a species that depend on these primates for dispersal is completely different. Essentially, we're not able to detect any evidence of dispersal. All the seeds that are falling are essentially falling straight down from the fruiting trees into the traps that are under the trees. Whereas in sites that have the primates, the seed fall distribution is much uh, more uniform and, and, and spread out. In general, there's much more to do. There's, uh, I feel I'll, even after more than a decade of doing research here, I feel in some ways that we're just scratching the surface. Uh, there's just a lot to learn. This forest is an incredibly complex ecosystem, or to put it in other words, it's an incredibly complex machine with so many different parts, and uh, we're still not close to fully understanding how they all interact together and maintain this amazing rainforest uh, as we see it. And I'm just talking about the structure of the forest tree community, but you can imagine how that impacts everything else, uh, epiphytic vegetation, all the different kinds of animals and birds that live in it. Uh, so there's much more to, 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 to study and understand.